Hello and welcome back to Jacob's Toys 5 Minute Figure Reviews. Please do like, share, subscribe and all of those things, all support to the channel is very much appreciated. Now these are the Smiths exclusive, or Smiths in the UK exclusive, Marvel Legends Legacy Figures by Hasbro. I have to say a big thank you to Hasbro and Smiths for sending these guys over. Uh, do go and check them out. So let's have a look at what you get. You get two extra claws and you get an unmasked head, which is a pretty good resemblance to Chadwick Boseman. Uh, it's a good likeness, it's a good sculpt, um, and yeah, it's it's a good figure all in all. Um, the actual likeness of Black Panther is pretty spot on. Now this particular suit was first released released in 2016-2017 as part of the Civil War wave uh, as the Giant Man Builder figure and then it was released again in 2019 as part of the Black Panther wave. The difference being is that the head sculpt that came with the older one was rubbish, let's be honest, there was no photo real technology and it didn't look like Chadwick Boseman at all. And then the one in the Black Panther wave came with a very similar head to the one that we're looking at here and it did resemble him and they haven't actually changed the sculpt at all so it's not it's still not pinless and the paintwork is all pretty much the same this is uh, a copy of that one as well and um, we also got this as part of the european release they got these kind of retro looking packs that came out in europe only and we had that guy as well or this version as well um so the one here on my right is on the right hand side of the screen is the older one and the one hand on the left hand screen is part of the legacy wave and as you can see they are pretty much identical there's no real changes at all in you know what it looks like so I'm going to have to make sure I keep them on separate sides otherwise I'll confuse them. Now the head that comes with the new legacy um, figure is this one here on the left hand side of the screen and on the right hand side of the screen I'm going to bring in the other one. Now we have had this head sculpt before um, and we have had a variation of it. So this is the variation where he's got a, a more stern face and this came with a different release of Black Panther. But then let me just grab the actual uh, head that we had. So this one on the right hand side is the old version, one on the left hand side is the new version. And as you can see there really is very little differences. So one thing I would say is if you haven't picked up this Black Panther suit previously then this is an ideal time to pick one up. If, however, you do have one of the older versions, you don't necessarily need to pick up this Legacy Collection version because they are pretty much identical. The one thing I will say, though, is that this is one of my favourite Black Panther figures, so it's definitely worth having in your collection. And if you haven't got one already, then this is the perfect opportunity. But Hasbro has given us, uh, what, two, three, three to four chances of having this suit already, so it's nothing new. One thing I will say about the Legacy version is it comes with this really cool head sculpt. So you get the older looking suit and you get a newer looking head sculpt. Now, I suppose that the one sort of continuity error, if you like, is that this is the suit that he wore in Civil War, but this head sculpt doesn't match how he looked in Civil War. He looks a little bit more clean cut. His hair was a bit shorter, his beard was a bit shorter. But with the mask on, he looks stunning. He's, he's definitely one of my favourite Black Panthers. Here's a, another version that we got in 2019 as part of the Black Panther movie wave and this is my favourite Black Panther just because the feet are a bit different, the paintwork on the kind of the uh, vibranium there is, is much better and I think the head, I think the mask is better as well. Um, it's just my kind of main Black Panther, it's the one that I have in my endgame display just because it's also got the butterfly shoulders as well so it's a little bit more flexible when it comes to posing but the one here from the Legacy Collection is a stunning Black Panther all the same and definitely worth grabbing uh, let me just put these, so the one there on the far left is the new Legacy Collection the one in the middle is from the Black Panther Wave in 2019 and the one on the right is uh, from my giant man wave so it's one that I got in I think it was 2016 maybe 2017 um, and as you can see the the two on either end there's very little difference however the one in the middle is quite obviously different because in the film Shuri updated his suit so it's nice that they update the figures as well let's just put the heads with the various pieces and I am, I am going to have to keep these all separate because if I did mix them up there'd be no way of telling which one was which because um, as I said they're very similar. Now, I am surprised because the rest of this Legacy collection have got real updates on the uh, paint applications and the face uh, paint as well so all of the figures that I've looked at um, in the rest of the wave are all an update on what we've had previously whereas this one looks like almost a straight re-release because 
they pretty much got it right the first time round. Um, as I said, big thank you to Hasbro and to Smith's Toy Superstore for sending these guys my way to have a look at. Uh, there are a few more figures I'm going to look at, so make sure you check out the channel and see the rest of that Marvel uh, Legacy Collection, that Black Panther Legacy Collection you know, it reviews. So there we go. So that is uh, the man himself, Black Panther. Um, great figure, well worth picking up. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Please do like, share, subscribe and all of those things and I'll see you soon.